Uh, so the question is, uh, I said I don't want to sell the company, but we raised uh, a bunch of money, uh, close to $100 million, from people who like to get their money back. How do we rationalize that? Uh, well, uh, pretty easy. So there's actually been this complete revolution uh, just in the past two years in, in the VC industry, which uh, I think people here kind of know, but the memo hasn't quite gotten out to the rest of the world yet. But there's a total fundamental change of shifting. Uh, change of shifting. Shift of thinking, thinking about this, which is... Um, Sophisticated investors like Sequoia and Morgan Thaler, our main investors, have totally decoupled uh, exit from liquidity. Right? Those two things used to be together. So you start a company, and the investors want you to starve until you're done, until you exit, and then everyone gets their money back. And that's fundamentally stupid. And like, look, in hindsight, like, obviously it's stupid. Why, who does that benefit? Why would anyone want to put pressure on the founders of a company to potentially sell prematurely because, yeah, they're kind of successful, but they also got to put their kids to, through college. And they, don't, they have a lot of money on paper, but they don't have any money really. So this whole idea of coupling exit and liquidity, which was 99% of the time before, doesn't make any sense. And it was, it was people here that figured out, boy, that's dumb. What do you do when you see something that's dumb? Well, you just stop doing it. So uh, the secondary markets today provide all the liquidity that you ever need. Um, totally separate from an exit. So uh, when you do a round, especially any of the later rounds, uh, it's usually not only possible, but it's usually quite encouraged to allow uh, existing shareholders to sell a certain portion of, of their shares. The bigger funds like Sequoia, you know, Sequoia is not a monolithic entity, right? They have many, many funds with different risk profiles. So they can actually, some of their, you know, funds that have uh, more startup profiles can get out. Some of their growth funds can get in. They can shuffle that through. There's tons of other investors that are happy to buy shares from, from founders, from employees, from shareholders. And so you can have multiple liquidity events you know, all, all the way through, uh, and then at some point you'll IPO and you have the liquidity that way, but, it, but there's, no, there's no exit. There's no synchronized event where everyone is like, we're done, because why should there be? That's, that's not good for anyone. So that's the, the separation of liquidity from, um, uh, from exit, I think, was like a, a profound shift that happened. Uh, really, Facebook, I think, is probably the first company that really figured this out. Uh, Facebook and, and investors like Sequoia, like DST, like Yuri Milner, they were kind of the first people to do it. And it's like you're watching history happen right now, and it, it's fantastic. Like I go to Boston, and like the Boston VCs didn't get that memo yet, so they're still, like, they're still conflating those two things. But it's only, you know, sooner or later, next decade or two, everyone will figure it out. <laughs>